Good day everyone, this is your friend Jake and then in this tutorial video we will have a walkthrough on how to create CRUD using AngularJS PHP in MySQL. Before we start, I would like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers in my channel. If you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. So let's get started. In every database application, whether it is a desktop or web or mobile application, uh, it can perform four basic operations. Uh, it, is, it is called CRUD. So basically, uh, when we say CRUD, uh, C R U D, C stands for create. R for retrieve, U for update, and then lastly D for delete. Now, when we say create, we are adding a record in the database. When we say retrieve, we just we search and view a record from the database and then when we see update we modify the record from the database And then lastly, if the record is no longer in use or very important, delete means we remove the record permanently from the database. Regardless of type of database application that you are creating, let's say inventory, point of sale, record system, information system, grading system, these four operations is being performed. Okay, so again, root stands for create, retrieve, update, and delete. So in this walkthrough, I will show you the different functionality of our CRUD using such technologies as AngularJS, PHP, and MySQL. Uh, PHP is one of the most very popular framework, JavaScript framework, that used for front-end development, and then PHP for back-end programming, and then MySQL for our database. As we can see in this index that PHP, we have here we are we are using here the bootstrap no uh, cdn content delivery network for using the bootstrap and then we have the title road using angular js php and msql created created by yours truly professor jake rodriguez from piradama in it so add records here display and then we have also here couple of css commands I will just uh, put in, in the link in the video description so that you can download the complete source code. No? It's fine that the code is very long. So this portion will add the record no? from our, to our database. So fetch retrieval of members no? in the database. Edit. This is the update. No? So as we can see, we are using JSON no? to re retrieve the information to update the record of the user. And then this, uh, this is a library file, no? so for pagination. And then delete that PHP, we remove the record from the table. And then connection here, so we have here the local host root, and then the database that we are using is angular underscore crude. Then we have here the SQL dump file, and then we have a series of sample records here. Actually, we have only one table no members and then AngularJS functionality here for manipulation and then 
uh, uh, okay so we have also here adding of records okay so let us go with sorry for that so let us go with the functionality of our program so let's say for example we will perform create so we just click this button new member a first member let's say a uh, first first name of the member let's say jose last name tan and then we have your bank manila city for the address philippines so we are creating a new record for a member called name jose tan living in manila city philippines click both we will click the save button so we have a new record here Okay, in the second pagination, Jose Tan, no? So, when we go to the first page, uh, that is the, ano, that is the save. Retrieve, we can do some research. Let's say, Jose. See, you can see the record. Retrieve, update, we click the update button. And then, we add Jose, Jose Mark. Another first name is Mark. So, when we click the update button, we have already the first name Jose Mark Tan and then when we no longer needed the record of Jose Mark Tan we simply click the delete it will ask the ask no, if we want to permanently delete the member the name Jose Mark Tan so we already performed the create retrieve update and then lastly is the delete so when I click the delete there is no uh, member deleted successfully no so so no more record for say mark Tan. so we can return here again in our application okay so uh, this is the end of our walkthrough on crude using angular gs php in mysql i will put a link in the description below where you can download the complete source code of our sample program so the technologies that I'm using in writing this application is Bootstrap, um, Pagination, JavaScript, uh, no, oh yeah, and then AngularJS, PHP, HTML5, CSS, and MySQL for the database. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope that you learned and enjoy watching. Uh, please do don't forget to like share and please support me channel guys by clicking the subscribe button see you in the next video tutorial guys this is your friend jake saying bye bye for now